Hi, good afternoon. It's Chris Labad here from SEOBank.ca. Just want to share a little bit of social media marketing love with you guys today. Uh, today we'll be focusing on Google My Business. Uh, Google My Business, we put a post in the group last week that they were going to open up posts for Google My Business. So this is Google My Business, formerly sort of Google Maps or Google branded pages. Uh, it is the most confusing platform, unfortunately, to deal with as far as social media goes. Uh, but it's really where you should be spending the most of your marketing time because we have a saying in the industry, Google loves Google. Uh, it's a love affair uh, with themselves. But if you spend a lot of time doing the right things on Google's social platforms, you will rank really well uh, in uh, organic SEO search. So let's have a look at this really quick. Uh, this is a post that I had recently created and you can go and create uh, basically three things. Uh, compelling uh, description, a beautiful image here and it even allows for buttons or call to action so you can do things like promos, get offer. If you have any sales coming up, you can create a button directly to that offer. So let's get into the nitty gritty on how you would create a new post under Google My Business. Basically, you sign in with the same uh, account, Gmail, uh, usually that you created for your Google My Business page. And for me, that is search and social victory here at gmail.com and I will get into my Google My Business page and walk you through post. So upon logging in, uh, you may or may not have multiple locations because I'm an agency. We have a few uh, different locations that we manage and, and help businesses out online. Uh, having said that, you can usually see your insights, uh, your stats on both what is happening. Insights would be for your Google My Business uh, page, so how many views, how many searches, if people are taking actions is probably the most important part, like clicks over to your website, okay? And then basically Google Analytics will show if uh, it is connected, uh, how much uh, website traffic your site is doing. So uh, this is what I wanted to highlight for you guys today. You should see a new feature off to the left that says posts. It's got a new button and we can see on how to create a post. So I have one existing. You will see a new box here to create your own. Uh, and basically it asks for three pieces uh, to create the post. Again, high resolution image, uh, up to 300 characters for the actual uh, description or compelling call to action what have you. If you want to create an event, you can turn on this button and give event details. So great for open houses or sales. You want people to come out at a certain time, you can click that button, turn that feature on and off, or just add a button, which I really love for a call to action. And they only give you a couple here, but I mean, honestly, guys, you can use that URL to drive traffic to anywhere. So if you sign up, you can send them to uh, a MailChimp form or an AWeber form. If you want to do reserve, if you're a restaurant, you can point them to a specific landing page or just learn more about your brand. So you can point them to a specific location um, on a website. So let me just go ahead and take a look at the one that I created uh, just to give you some ideas. So in this particular post, we are targeting people that are looking for a free SEO report for their business. So we went ahead and created this image and I will hang with me, give you some great tips and resources for creating images and as well as editing those images and getting them into your timeline and posts. And here's the copy. So very quickly, just looking for ways to improve sales. How about digital marketing? So we're just getting people familiar in the customer journey, awareness about SEO bank, and as well as we're giving them away something of value here, like SEO audits are around 500 to 800, even a thousand dollars. So if you can do that, take away some of your customers pain points at the same time, try and give away something of value. Uh, I'm sure you'll see the increase in engagement. Okay, so uh, basically at the bottom we have get offer and that goes over 
to our website. So if I went view, uh, click that, it would go over to our website. And basically our website has different lead captures uh, available to us. So they would be able to fill out the form and get that uh, lead SEO report back to them uh, through an email. You should see that come up if interested in getting the report. Okay, so as promised, uh, let's talk about a few different areas where you can get different designs and free images, okay, to create these posts. So I uh, just found a new resource. It's called unsplash.com. And unsplash.com says search free high resolution photos. So uh, I could type anything into the browser here. And if you sign up for an account, what you can do is utilize photographers from all across the world to get you high res images. They do it out of the kindness of their heart. There's no money exchange hands here. So I could type in in my, um, I'm in digital. So I'm just going to type digital and see if I can start there. I do see some interesting things. Digital is pretty broad, but I do see a laptop. I see two laptops. So I can go here and I can use that as a starting place and just go download and boom, I have the image. Now for me, we usually work in Photoshop, but having said that, that's the next pain point that I would like to take away from you guys as my clients. So uh, Photoshop is great. It's been around for a long time, but if you don't have the, the resources to, you know, spend a, whatever the Adobe suite is up to now, you know, a couple thousand dollars for your marketing team to invest in, uh, we have free tools for that. Just wait for this to load. So in here, we could do the same sort of thing. We could just load up our text, uh, put on our logo. Okay, we'd want to brand each image that gets into uh, the the post timeline for Google My Business, but I can show you here uh, another free tool that we absolutely love. Uh, it's one of the major ones that I recommend to my clients that they use if they can't get to higher end tools like Photoshop or higher designer uh, to do this stuff and post frequently. So having said that, uh, it is canva.com, that's C-A-N-V-A.com. And they even have pre-canned templates here, guys, for everybody looking to do more on social media. So they have a generic social media 800 by 800 pixel, but they even give you templates as far as Facebook covers, Facebook posts, uh, Facebook event timeline cover, and they're all different sizes. And it even makes it tricky for designers uh, like myself and Daryl at Catalyst Studios. Uh, who have to remember all these things. So I would just click Google Photo here, and that would get me started for the compelling image that I would create for the post. They give us different timelines and layouts. So I can start here with a template, or I could start to create my own uh, with uploads and adding images. I, In the interest of saving time here, I can't go through the entire uh, tool with you guys, uh, but you can see it's very intuitive, very easy to use, and you can basically make edits on the fly and uh, just create your text overlays and things of that nature, pull them in, uh, and you have a complete post. There should be no reason or any hang-ups on creating uh, beautiful, compelling images for your, for your posts. So, uh, that's basically the walkthrough. If you have any comments or anything you'd like to share with me, Chris, I need more explanation on this. Or, you know, why does this really matter? Why should I be creating posts here? I mean, it, it, it's pretty obvious that uh, these posts will show up anytime somebody Googles your brand name. So if I were to do, let's take Grassy Plumbing, for instance. I know they have this set up as well. Uh, you will now see basically in here a post underneath their usual Google My Business page. So post frequent, post often, always post something of value. It's an exciting time to be a marketer and we really love this stuff. So as always, reach out to one of the amends if you have any further questions. And this is Chris. Have a great day and appreciate all you guys being here. Thank you.